and as you can see we've already built uh, the teepee fire of course a log cabin uh, fire is very difficult to start try lighting a match to that and get a log that size started it doesn't work so you have to start with a teepee fire or a similar something nice and dry that'll burn quick and start so I've got the teepee got the center post as last time I've got a pencil size six to eight uh, handfuls of pencil size about as long as your forearm in the on the teepee and on top of that layer I also have a layer that's about as size of your thumb about as long as your forearm of course and the inside I have kindling very very bone dry kindling to start the fire with I've got a place from a match to light and so we'll start building the uh, log cabin around it now so your bottom two layers of logs for the log cabin should be fairly thick, probably four inches in diameter, at least four inches in diameter, because you have to get under this log. You have to get under here to get to the fire to start the the uh, teepee fire to get the rest of it going. Now these two bottom logs, they don't have to be totally dry, totally dead. They can be live logs. They could, I guess they could be freshly live, you know, straight from the, the live tree. But it'd be better to have them uh, uh, laying around for a while with a little bit of moisture in it, okay? Because they're on the bottom, so heat rises. So all this all this uh, lateral heat coming out of this fire is uh, going to dry out these logs as the top ones burn and fall in from the fire. So we'll graduate these logs as we come up. And we're coming in as a pyramid. All the sides are coming up with the pyramid teepee type fire. An advantage to this fire is it'll start falling in on itself and uh, maintain itself for a while. So you can go out looking for wood or do other activities. You don't have to worry so much about the fire going out because you have a lot of wood on here. Something else too on this, I've noticed is this, some of this is real rotted, really rotted wood. Rotted wood does not burn well at all, unless you have a fire, a very hot fire going. So let's not put that on there right now, let's change this out. As soon as that fire gets going well, we will uh, stick the rotted stuff on there. And you want to put some small stuff on top. Of course, all the small stuff up here, you can put as much on as you like. All that's going to fall into the fire as soon as it starts burning. And of course, like I said, down here, I got these logs are high enough uh, off the ground where I can get my hand in here to light that fire. You can see the kindling in there. I've got to be able to reach that to light it. And I've also cleared the area around, of course, for safety. At least five, six feet, absolute minimum. Got a little bit of wood left over here. Like I said, the log cabin gives me time to go into the woods and locate more wood. And one other thing I failed to mention so far is up overhead of us, we do not want, I'm almost over the fire, I'm kind of close to that tree, not too bad, but you do not want any tree or limbs over top of you, any foliage, to start a fire there also. So that's about it for a log cabin. Not real difficult. It does, like I said, supplies a lot more wood. You don't have to put a lot of wood on it for 45 minutes or so. So this is Eagle John, once again, with Survive and Thrive. Uh, come out with the next video. Thanks for watching.